An emergency vehicle operations center is the place where first responders are trained to deal with the kind of adverse driving conditions they'll encounter when protecting the public. The instructors at this facility conducted a real-world test to see how the all-wheel drive systems of the top five small crossovers performed in a variety of conditions. Let's get to know them. I was formerly a SWAT member for 10 years. In my current assignment, I'm the director of training for an emergency vehicle operations center. I was a police officer for 16 years. I was a paramedic for 27 years. I've got 21 years of law enforcement experience. I've been in law enforcement for approximately 23 years. Without playing favorites, the instructors randomly picked keys from a hat to assign driving order. Each of these seasoned drivers got behind the wheel of the Subaru Forester, Ford Escape, Toyota RAV4, Mazda CX-5, and the Honda CRV and subjected each to a barrage of tests. First, they tested these vehicles on asphalt to see how they maintained control on curvy roads. All right, Subaru, woo, this is an interesting feeling. What the steering and the suspension and everything is, is pretty tight. The weight transfers back and forth. There's very little body roll. Hey, you know what, chap? The handling by far was the best on this one. What do you think about uh, the all-wheel drive systems on these cars? I, as a consumer, would not be able to tell that you had an all-wheel drive feature in the Honda, the, the Toyota at all. With the Subaru, I could feel myself being planted on the road. I could tell that all wheels were connecting. Even if I didn't know what all-wheel drive was, I would still call it a better performing car and a, and a safer feeling car. One thing I found, about the Subaru is it had very little body roll. It stayed it stays flat. very flat yep. on the ground. Right. Overall, what do you guys think? I go Subaru first, I agree. Next, the instructors took the vehicles off-road to test the capabilities of their all-wheel drive systems. The drivers were especially impressed with the Subaru and its X mode with hill descent control, which automatically applies braking to help drivers stay confident and in control when descending steep hills with adverse terrain. That descent thing's freaking awesome. Freaking mind boggling. Thing's incredible. Let's change drivers. Let's do it. Subaru, as long as you kept gas to it, it stayed on the hill. Everything else you had to functionally put the brakes on. I started it at the very top of the hill, took my foot off the brake, and it completely controlled the vehicle all the way down. When the hill test concluded, the instructors tested the vehicle's all wheel drive capabilities in snow. The terrain is pretty steep, uh, pretty rugged, and we're, what we're hoping to find is quite a bit of snow. And here we go again in the Subaru. We're gonna get a ways up the roadway here. And we've made it beyond all competitors. I mean, we tested it in everything we could test it in, really. I mean, this was the ultimate test, I think. There's one standout favorite right there. there is, yeah. I mean, it's not even close. That X mode, that thing just blows me away. <laughs> Incredible. I pretty much feel like no matter what your driving experience is, you know, it comes down to the equipment. This is an example of, you know, the right equipment that will allow you to drive in any condition safely. You know, dry pavement, wet pavement, whether you're on a dirt road or a sandy road or even a graded gravel road. You got to see every every condition possible. Every aspect yeah. of its abilities. Yeah. It's not bad ending up, up here either, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't complain. Yeah. Hey, nice to be able to make it up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In an unpredictable driving world, Subaru vehicles provide stability. Hills, curves, slick roads, snow. No matter the conditions, you'll be in the driver's seat.